Hello and welcome to our video about generating SQL queries with TextCortex API. My name is Jaehun and I'm the co-founder of TextCortex AI, one of the top 200 AI companies in Europe with thousands of active users daily helping people write and code better. At TextCortex, we are passionate about making programming easier and more accessible to everyone regardless of their technical background. That's why we created the TextCortex API a powerful tool that allows users to generate SQL queries using natural language. With the TextCortex API, you can simply type or speak a natural language query and our AI algorithms will convert it into a structured SQL query. This means you don't need to have extensive knowledge of SQL syntax or spend hours writing complex queries by hand. Let's see it in action. When you clone the GitHub repository, you are going to see uh, there are some multiple files in here. Uh, the first one is called generate dummy database.py. So that creates a dummy database so that you can test out the features of how TextCortex uh, APIs, SQL generation features work. So what does it do? It uh, creates tables. Uh, one of them is called customers, other one is sales, and the other one is salesperson table. So none of the data within these tables are real. They are just generated uh, by using a um, Python uh, package called Faker. Uh, I think it's a pretty cool and funny name uh, for a package. And then afterwards, what we do is like we randomize and then we create some first names, last names, uh, and also we create some sample email addresses that doesn't exist. Um, there's also another thing, as you can see, there's something called bike and random choice. So there's, we also have some bike types in this bike store table. So when you run this, it is going to create something called, as you can see here, called bike store. Okay, that's <laughs> that data is not readable. Um, but this is basically an SQLite table. And after that, um, the second one, the most important one, is called main.py. So this is where the magic happens, right? Um, so this file does two things. Uh, the first thing that it does is um, it connects to um, our TextCortex API. So you need to put your API key in there. And the second thing that it does is uh, this thing is called fetch all table structure. And what it does is basically it um, connects to the database and then fetches all the rows and everything uh, from this database. So it is trying to understand what is the structure of it and then takes it and puts it into a JSON format. And then later on, we are going to pass that to TextCortex API to work on it. So how did that happen? Um, and this, this is the other one is called Generate SQL Query. And that basically makes an API query with your questions and the database format. So let's go ahead and run this. Uh, by the way, I'm using um, PyCharm, which is one of my favorite uh, editors, but you can basically use anything. Okay, when you run this, it is uh, asking me the question here. What would you like to ask to bikestore.db database? So this is pretty cool. So basically, we are going to be able to talk with our database. The first question, as let's say I'm a bike store owner, uh, the first question comes to my mind is, who are the customers uh, buying a lot of stuff? So maybe I can understand which bike is more popular. So I go ahead and type something like, what is the name of our top customer? Okay, so Larry Fleming is our top customer. And you can also see how they did the, um, um, the uh, you can see the generated SQL query. But when I'm looking at it again, that doesn't really make sense. So I'm going to ask another question. Who, who bought the most bikes? I think that's a better question because with the other question, it understood like, okay, top customer. When you say top customer, it looked at the list and found the top person, which I didn't mean that, but okay. I let this slip. <laughs> so we run this. Okay, so we've found someone who bought the most, most bikes. So we find our customer. His name is Tyron Olson. Very interesting name. Uh, thank you for this interesting names uh, Faker library. Um, so the cool thing is like now I know who bought the most bikes. So let's ask another question. What is the most selling bike brands? No, bike types. Or just like what is the most selling bike? 
let's ask this. Ah, interesting. So the road bike is the most sold one. So we sold 34 of them, and it's interesting. So, I mean, previously, back in the days, we had to write SQL queries to find out. I mean, also in the case, like, if you are not such a big company, if you don't have someone who's writing SQL queries, some people had to find it on their own. But uh, with the recent developments in AI, that is crazy. But you can actually ask questions directly to your database, and you can get answers to it. So um, there's many more questions that you can ask. I don't know how many questions you can ask to this dummy database because there's not so much stuff in it, as you can see. But you can do a lot of crazy stuff with it. So download the GitHub repo, copy it, and use it according to your needs. And let me know in comments um, what would you like to see next, and we will work on it. Isn't this crazy? I was able to just ask questions to a database, and it started giving me the answers I needed. One of the biggest advantages of the TextVortex API is its ease of use. You don't need to have extensive knowledge of SQL syntax or spend hours writing complex queries. Instead, you can simply type or speak a natural language query and AI algorithms will convert it into a structured SQL query. As you can see from this example, the TextCortex API can quickly and accurately translate your natural language query into a structured SQL query that retrieves the data that you need. Another advantage of the TextCortex API is its versatility. You can use it in a wide range of applications from building chatbots that can respond to user queries in natural language to generating reports and analytics based on large data sets. We have made it easy for developers to integrate TextCortex API into their applications with comprehensive documentation and code samples, of course. Whether you're a seasoned developer or just starting out, you can start using the API in just a few simple steps. Overall, the TextCortex API can help you generate SQL queries quickly and easily using natural language. Whether you're a seasoned developer or just starting out, the API is easy to use and versatile enough to be used in a wide range of applications. Thank you for watching this video about generating SQL queries with TextCortex API. We hope you found it informative and useful. If you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to reach out in comments. I dropped the example code in comment section. Feel free to copy and use it. Thank you.